Good morning. Here are the top stories at this hour from the Sentinel. Total lockdown in certain areas of Guwahati from 6 p.m. today. Areas like Jalukbari, Maligao, Pandu, Machkwa, Fence Bazaar, Dhirinpara, and Fatashil Ambari of Guwahati will be placed under total lockdown from 6 p.m. today. Assam's Health Department has recommended ward-wise lockdown to contain spread of coronavirus in Guwahati. Assam Chief Minister Sarvanand Sanwal has directed State Chief Secretary Kumar Sanjay Krishna to ensure proper implementation of lockdown. Strict action would be taken against violators, Assam government said. Biswajit Pegu, Deputy Commissioner, Kamrup district would announce rules of the lockdown. The decision to impose total lockdown in certain areas of the city was taken after 144 positive cases were reported in Guwahati city. However, the state is in a good position, State Health Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma said. The recovery rate is better compared to national average and the number of deaths in the state due to COVID has been much lesser. Assam's flood situation worsens one dead. Several rivers in Assam are flowing above the danger level mark. One person died due to flooding of several villages in the state. Brahmaputra is flowing above the danger level at Nematighat in Zorhat. Dikho and Disang rivers are flowing above the danger level in Sibsagar. Dhansiri is flowing above the danger level mark at Numaligar. Jiabharali is flowing above the danger level in Sonitpur. Dhemaji, Zorhat, Sivsagar and Dibrugar are the four flood affected districts. 3,634 hectares of cropland 28,462 people have been affected. Nine relief camps have been set up. 953 people are taking shelter in these camps. Manipur to go for by-elections, says NEDA convener Himanta Bishwas Sharma. Northeast Democratic Alliance convener Himanta Bishwa Sharma hinted that Manipur will go for by-elections as many MLAs have been disqualified. Sharma is travelling back to Imphal today. There has been high political drama in Manipur over the past few days. Congress had said it has the numbers to form the government. This after nine MLAs withdrew support from the Biren Singh-led Manipur government. Seven Congress MLAs had switched over to BJP soon after the Assembly elections in 2017. These MLAs were disqualified. Shillong's Uda market reopens partially. Uda, the largest commercial market of Meghalaya, opened partially on Monday. The market reopened after three months of being shut due to COVID. Only 1,222 shops with 30 to 33 percent workers have been allowed to open. Shops given alphabetical arrangement to ensure discipline in operations. Each shop to be open for two days a week from Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And here is an update on the number of COVID positive cases across northeastern states. These are number as of 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning. The number of positive cases in Assam stands at 5,853. 267 new cases reported last night. In Tripura, the number of positive cases continues to stand at 1,125. Manipur reported 57 new cases in the past few hours. The total tally now stands at 898. Nagaland, the number of positive cases continues to stand at 280. Mizoram, the number of positive cases continues to stand at 142. 
Sikkim, the number has gone up to 78. Arunachal Pradesh reported eight new cases. Now the total tally stands at 148. Meghalaya, the only state from the northeast to have only six active cases. And with that, it's a wrap of this edition. Thank you.